a good example, okay? Um, example would be that if they went to jail to begin with because they didn't, they couldn't, they didn't have a job that paid all of their child support, so they went to jail, right? They went to jail for a long period of time. Because they're considered to have been going, they went to jail voluntarily or they gave up their job voluntarily, the interest continues on that while they're incarcerated. When they come out and they want to now secure a job and it requires a driver's license, they can't get a driver's license because they have an outstanding bill to the Commonwealth. So what we're trying to do is look at reducing that. There's another bill out there that will address a restricted driver's license that will let them get there. But we're trying to make this uh, a reasonable that will allow them to pay their debt and stay out and not return to jail. Because this was seen as one that we got from the families, professionals, uh, the national uh, research that was done, visiting the prisoners, hearing from them firsthand. Everyone would not meet this criteria. It would probably be a small number. But again, we're trying to reduce recidivism. And this came from this.